guys, welcome to Buggers United, welcome to another video, and I wanted to apologize first of all for being gone for such a long time, it, I still i am going through some stuff, it's personal, it's nothing like that I can't handle, it's just that it's not allowed me to do videos, and to be honest, I'm doing this video today, but I may not be able to do a video tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, I'm hoping that I'm able to. I'm doing everything in my power to continue doing YouTube and I hope that I that when the season kicks back again I can you know do my match reviews and continue giving you guys my ideas uh, news relating to football with that said and done uh, let's talk about the news that break out today official from sport that apparently confirmed that Lautaro Martinez has agreed a five-year deal with Barcelona with a contract of worth 12 million euros a year plus bonuses which you know when they start getting into territory of like a specific you know a specific contract that's when you know things are getting pretty serious and I would believe this I would believe this very much because we've heard we've heard the rumors about Lautaro Martinez it's clear that he wants to join Inter seem to be very clear that they're gonna lose Lautaro this this year they're not put in that much of a session not that they can't and apparently the deal you know it's been touted a lot of things first we heard a swap between Griezmann and Lautaro then we've heard you know 80 million plus a player we've heard in the players that they could be included we, ha we have heard Semedo, Rakitic, Arturo Vidal, Umtiti you know players of that caliber Todivo in the last couple days and the rumor that seems to be going around is that the strongest rumor seems to be like 60 million plus Semedo and Arturo Vidal. And to be honest, I think that's a bit of a ripoff because if all the players are losing their like you know their worth, why is Lautaro Martinez keeping his worth of 110 million euros? Like, because that's basically what you're telling me that he's worth. I think honestly, 60 million plus Semedo or 80 million plus Arturo Vidal should be enough to get the player over the line. And I talked about Lautaro Martinez a while back in the channel and I made one of my most recent videos or recent-ish videos was comparing Lautaro Martinez to Timo Werner and a lot of you guys that, that videos keep getting comments and people keep asking will you choose Lautaro, will you choose Werner, I, in the video I said I would choose Werner just because he was worth 60 million, like the difference in the caliber of the players wasn't good enough, wasn't big enough for it to be worth, you know, a lot of money dif in difference between Lautaro and Timo Werner, but I'm, I'm honestly happy, if we sign Timo, if we sign Lautaro Martinez, I think that he will be an, an excellent signing, he could add us a lot of, you know, fight at a lot of intensity he's very good technically he has a really good instinct inside the area he can defend himself outside of the area he's not Luis Suarez at his best but he can he can do a job he definitely will compete for Suarez and if I hope that if Lautaro comes in that he's gonna come in to you know to start to play games not to like play second field to Suarez because we're not at a point where we can be you know spending big money on players are not gonna be contributing heavily on the squad that's something that needs to change there's also been the rumors of the likes of Neymar, Sandro Tonali the piano situation has me very concerned because you know there's been some rumors that made me believe that Barcelona are actually considering the piano as an option Cancelo for that switch between Semedo and Manchester City that actually could could happen it seems like it could be likely to happen and Jadon Sanchez also been an option in the past couple days so it hasn't been done that's very much the news about the Lautaro situation so where would Lautaro fit if he was to come to Barcelona well my thoughts on it is that it is gonna be difficult to allow Lautaro to spot because I think that Suarez is still gonna get a lot of minutes, and I just said that we need Lautaro to come in and play a lot of minutes, but let's be honest, Suarez gonna be benched, it's gonna be difficult. One of Dembele or Griezmann has to go, that's, that's I think, a certain thing, like, one of the two must go in order for Lautaro to come in. We have likes of Braveway that I think it's gonna go this summer, he's 
making look like he wants to stay and he probably wants to stay but he's not gonna get to play we could use the money and i think that we can, we're gonna get about the 15 million euros that we paid for him and i think it's gonna be perfectly fine and so fati got a knock very recently but he should be fine for the start of the competition and he needs to be very important for us also dembele might be able to come back for the champions league in about late july he could be able to come back suarez should pretty much be ready to he should be match fit to start in this pretty much the season is going to go Griezmann, Suarez and Messi for the remainder of the season and next season we'll see about it I think that as we have to design a system that not only fits Lautaro but that also fits Messi because the problem that I see when we're playing without Suarez is that you know Messi's I don't want to say that Messi seems a bit lost because he doesn't, he doesn't need Suarez to play well but definitely he, the, he plays better with Suarez whether the, the team itself plays better with Suarez that's another question but Messi definitely seems to play better every time the Suarez is in the pitch so that's something that we're going to have to adapt him to and he's definitely going to be able to adapt to it's just a pro, it's going to be a process of adaptation for Messi Lautaro is going to have to adapt to playing for Barcelona you know, having a lot of the ball, being, you know, having to do a lot of runs into space, which he's very good at, so that shouldn't be a problem. And in terms of other signings, I think that the Lautaro signing is going to be pretty much the only big signing that we're going to be able to do this season. There is the other options that you could do, like maybe Tonali, maybe another center midfielder, a left back, another right back, a center back if you let Umtitigo or Todivo. So, you know, those are options, but in terms of the Neymar signing, I don't think it's possible for Barca to sign both Lautaro, you know, they have a depth of 70. So, all that said, honestly, Lautaro thing would fit very well, but if we're going to sign him, we need to use him properly. We need to use him accordingly to the plan that's going to be traced. We need to have a clear project to what's going forward. No more Pjanic, no more Neymar, like, let's build a team having financial problems and it seems like the economy is gonna plummet very, very much after what's been happening in the past couple months. So, you know, we have already a very good core of Frenkie de Jong, Artur, Ricky Puig, if Lautaro comes in that would be a very good interesting squad, three else that needs to be said they're probably about the same caliber of player Pjanic yeah most probably has a bit more experience than Artur but Artur has you know more physical ability and he's younger so Artur if you if you if we can get Pjanic first of all it should be like sign something that we do not have someone something like a Camavinga or if we are truly gonna let go of Artur then maybe Sandro Tonali could be a could be an option going forward Overall, I don't like what the board has been doing lately. I've been keeping up with Barcelona and the thing about trying to sell Todivo, not even trying to keep him. Like everyone seems to be interested in Todivo except Barcelona. The plan with Anso Fati that apparently he wants to be sent to Barcelona B. Like, I don't know. It's a lot of things that are annoying me quite a lot. Ricky Puch is not getting a look in. Like it's just I'm just very, very concerned if it's gonna be happening. The Bundesliga so far has been running decently well. Like it's the the football's been pretty decent. I'm gonna say like for how much time we've been unactive, the football is pretty good. Bayern and Dortmund look excellent, or look as excellent as they could be at this stage of the season. RB Leipzig is a is a shame that they've fallen off. They've kind of already you know fallen off the league challenge, which is unfortunate because they were mounting a lot of pressure. And it seems like Bayern are going to be walking away with this league. So, again, this is significant with what's going to be going on with Barcelona. And I hopefully I'm going to be able to be doing the match reviews for you guys when Barcelona comes back in, I believe, June 13th. So I'll be there to, you know, watch the game, see what's going to be happening. If we don't come at full strength, that's not something that needs to be a big problem because I don't expect... Barcelona or any other team to be at 100% at 
in the first couple of games of the season. So we're going to see what that's going to be about. I just hope that we work what, whatever the season remains and whatever happens, happens. We need to look forward towards the next season and if we can win something good and if we don't, then let's work on doing things better for next season. Anyways, we also know, leave me all your opinions in the comment section below. Comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you next one. Blau